Well, we are back now. We're talking about the winter season because it's just around the corner. It's about time to bundle up. So we brought our Pam Forsyth back here on Erie News Now Sunrise talking about our winter coat drive. It's happening this Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. And Pam, I love that you've been doing this for years now. Yeah, this is our uh, fourth year, actually. Um, about four years ago, um, I was down at the, the park and I was talking to uh, some people that frequent the park and they looked cold and I asked them why they didn't have coats and they said well we we don't like to go and you know some of these shelters and things which are wonderful um, but they didn't like to give their names or whatever so um, I started thinking we need to we need to take care of that population. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> and Erie News Now jumped right on board and started collecting coats. And it's a pretty simple con uh, concept. I love this. Mm -hmm. If you have extra, bring them down there. If you need one, come and grab one. Exactly. We hang them in the trees. We do it in um, conjunction with the city. And um, like I said, four years ago, I, I talked to Mayor Schember and, and to the, the group, his, yeah. you know, his uh, people, and told them my idea. And uh, I actually, it's not original. I, I saw it on Facebook, um, to be honest with you. There in France, they hang coats on a bridge and uh, people can just come and take them and donate them. Yeah. So I figured, why can't we do that in the trees here at Perry Square? Yeah. So how about hats and gloves and scarves? It's really important. That it, it has, you know, really grown because it started out with just coats yeah. and then it was coats and hats and gloves and scarves and then it was hats, gloves, scarves and actually blankets and also oh, that makes sense. sleeping bags. Um, some of the people that, that need these um, don't have a home and sure. the, you know, they, some sleep in their cars or you know, wherever they can and sleeping bags are really helpful. Yeah, that's a really great idea. So I can see myself getting the kiddos and collecting some things at our house and bringing it down. So if folks do have things to donate, they take it Friday or Saturday? Take it Friday or Saturday. Um, we prefer it you know, during the daytime. Um, we do not man it at night. We okay. do leave the coats hanging in the trees so okay. that the the people that you know are up at night and, yeah. and walking around you know have an opportunity to, and to if take you, them. If you want to be discreet, then there's your opportunity. Exactly. Okay, this is wonderful. So the details, in case you want to check it out, if you need a coat or some warm winter wear, you can stop down at Perry Square Friday or Saturday anytime throughout the day. Um, and then if you have things to donate, bring them down. Probably the sooner the better. Sooner the better. And on Saturday, we prefer stopping about three o'clock because um, it, you know we have to pack up and sure. we do donate what we have afterwards to other you know shelters and uh, organizations. It's fantastic. A partnership between Erie News Now and of course the city of Erie.